In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about linking a Excel spreadsheet into my database. When you link a spreadsheet into your database, you have a new table within the environment that you can use to use for queries and pull data from. And it's great and convenient and quick, and it's one less table you have to build. But if you have to link to several different sources, there are things that you have to keep in mind so that way you're organized and fast. Because the last thing that you want to do is look back and forth to see what table is what, what is linked to what, what source does this come from, is it a spreadsheet link, is it a database link, so on and so forth. So this is what I do. I'm going to go to New and I'm going to link a table in. I put mine on the desktop. It's called Orders. By default, sometimes I get that and I can't find my spreadsheet. So come on down here to Files of Type and just switch it back to Excel and then you should be able to find it. I'm going to click Link and if you notice here I have Sheet 1, 2, and 3. Well if you've ever created a blank Excel sheet you know by default sheet 1, 2, and 3 will always be there. So I know that I have data here, I have data there, and I have data here. Well I want sheet 1. This is a very basic tutorial. First row contains column headings. Now link table name is sheet 1. I could very well pick this name. But if I had several links from several different spreadsheets plus several links from several different databases, it would be really hard for me to keep up with everything. So this is what I do. Use a naming convention that you understand. If you want, we could say EXL dash, and let's call this one table. Hit finish. Okay. Look at my table object. I have Excel table and I have table. Well, I know that table belongs to the database. I know Excel table belongs to an Excel sheet. You can clearly tell the difference here, but watch what happens when we open up a query grid. Now I'm able to tell that's my Excel table and that's my access table. Isn't that nice? Really simple. I know which one to pick. Um, in my next tutorial, I'm going to talk about nuances of link tables to a spreadsheet and what you can do to make sure that you can avoid those pitfalls. So stay tuned and check out my other tutorials. Thank you for watching.